Okay, today's the day we're gonna get up close with some real live pheasants. Well, of course we are. That's what we do around here, right? If you guys have been around for a while, you know this ain't the first time that we get up close with some pheasants, that I move some birds around, that I, you know, get you guys some up close footage of them, you know? Because while I move birds, you know, I give you guys the view that I get, which is, you know, hands on, you know, look them over, see how the birds are doing, that sort of deal. Today is that day, guys, that we have to move some birds around because we just did a whole bunch of shipping. So we got some uh, scarce pens around. And by that, I mean, you know, we got a pin with just a pair, a big pin with just a juvenile pair there, a big pin with just a juvenile dip there, and then a, another big pin with just one in it. So, and then when we move all these birds around, we're gonna have, we're gonna free up some pin space because we're gonna combine some. All right, guys, we got some birds coming in and um, couldn't have been more perfect timing, you know, because by the time tomorrow comes, which I should get that new pair of college, um, yeah. We should have a pen for him all ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is going to be a fun one. Going to be a whole lot of work. And I can't wait to complete it, really. Amy down here, the turkey that runs around free. Yeah, she just jumped up on me. and Yeah. Very, very, uh, very cool bird. Anyways, let's get back on subject here. I'm glad you guys joined me. We're going to move a lot of birds around. And I'm glad I'm going to get it done because I have a lot of cleaning to do. My white peafowl have shed their white feathers everywhere, and it looks like it's snowing on a bright sunny day. Not cool. <laughs> I got a lot of cleaning to do. So, once I get the video done, moving birds around and stuff and all that done, I'll get some cleaning done, and uh, you guys can go check out all my videos. How's that? Alright guys, let's just get started. My first plan of attack is going to be this young lady Amherst pair. We're going to take these ones out. And this frees up the pin here for my yellows, my young yellows. That's the one uh, pin that Mr. Electric was in. And here's some yellows that are gonna go in it, but not only this pair, another pair. So eventually I'll narrow it down to a trio because I'll have two pairs in that one pin and then I'll have the one male for sale. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Reeves, it's not about you today or you, Pedro. And here's the other pin over here. This is another pair of Lady Amherst. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, look at that male. He's looking pretty sharp, wouldn't you guys say? Yeah, so when I move birds and I empty pans, I gotta clean them out too. So that's a whole little lot of cleaning deal I was talking about. Not just the feathers, but just cleaning out pins and getting them ready for the new birds. And in this pin, we got one, one old female here. Lady Amherst. And here's that other pair of yellows. This is the male that I'm going to uh, have for sale. Get rid of. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. I mean, I know I'm going to get rid of him, but I don't know to who yet. He's not spoken for. So, if you guys want him, let me know. And, uh, yeah. And we're just going to clean up all this feather mess. Oh, another thing we're going to do today. This pair of models right here are gonna go into one of those empty pins that we're gonna empty out. And I'm gonna get in here and clean out this pin. The white peafowl like to sit up on top of this pin and preen and pick their feathers out. You guys see all the white feathers that are hanging there? Well, once I empty this pin right here, I'm going to uh, clean it out and get it all ready because I have another model female coming. And I do wanna put her with this guy over here this guy is all lonely. So yeah, I'm gonna put him in that pin once I clean it out with the new female. But, like I said, I'm gonna combine two strange birds together that don't know each other. So, I'm gonna wait till that female comes before I move him. You know what I'm saying, guys? So when I get the new female, I'll get him over there, put it with the new female in that new pin once I clean it out. And, um, Maybe I can just finally get rid of this freaking dog kennel set up right here to my son. Nothing else to do but get started. First bird we're moving. 
this yellow golden little mama right here. Oh, she's a beauty. Yep. Feather development is nice. Not too much webbing in the tail. Body feels good. Check her for uh, mites or lice or whatever. Clean. Ooh, clean. All right, we'll let you go now. Okay, so I got a couple young Lady Amherst. This is a pair. I wanna show you guys a little something, okay? Now, those eyes, see how they can be deceiving. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they look a little light. This is a female. And how do I know that? As I look at the tail, she's a little raggedy right now. But look at the tail, observe that. See how it's, it's just kind of like the color of, let's say a female standard, you know, Lady Amherst hen, you know? But look at the difference in the male. See how it's like black? Their bottom feathers are coming in black and he has some light ones coming in. Now pretty soon he'll get longer centrals that are tar that are barred. But right, let me get a little close up here. There you go. You guys see the difference in the tail? He's getting some black right there. The black doesn't stay, of course. You guys know that on Mel Lady Amherst. But here's a male, young one, and a female. Male, female. Now He's not being very cooperative, so looks like I'm being a little rough with him, but also look at that teardrop on him. See the teardrop on him? Now she has one, but it's not very pronounced. See? Very little. And right now, guys, believe it or not, their eyes are the same color. Those eyes will, those eyes will deceive you. Now I'm gonna catch up this other Lady Amherst pair. Now they're a little bit older than the ones I just showed you. But their tails and their tails are a lot further along in the development so you guys can see the difference in what i'm talking about here okay all right ladies and gentlemen i caught the male he looks a lot older than the other one huh but actually he's really not that much older he just has a, he just has a bigger tail but look at uh, the black i'm talking about the black on the bottom here this is what he got a while ago at the same age or the same stage as that other one i just showed you that other male and uh but yeah you can see the uh Centrals, a lot lighter, a lot more barring. Obvious male. He was a he was a wild one. Sorry, bud. Sorry. I hate it when they do that panting thing. But uh we're gonna put him up in uh, the other pen right now, but just want to show you guys what he looks like. So he's very blue gray in the face. He's mad. Ow, that hurt. He's a strong guy, man. He's just, look at that. Anyways, a little cape coming in. Uh, but yeah, you can obviously tell he's a male. Beautiful, isn't he? All right, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna put him away. Look at that. He was a mean one. Okay, this one is just like her brother. Pretty wild, wild and out there. But um, look at her tail, guys. You see the difference? There's none of those dark feathers right here. They're just the same throughout the whole feathers, pretty much. I mean, the central's a little bit lighter, but not uh, a significant difference. A lot of feather loss. I'm sorry, sweetie. But here's one thing I like about these Lady Emmers, guys. Look at the face, how blue it is. See that? Just nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Got a little bit of blood up here from being caught up, but it happens. It'll heal quick. But yeah, look how blue in the face she is. Just crazy. Anyways, there they are. I gotta put her away. Alrighty now, on to the yellows. This right here is Popeye's son. How you doing there, buddy? He's a good looking boy. And you guys can obviously tell that he's a male. I mean, he's got the teardrop. He's got the uh, the yellow tinge to his feathers. See that? And on his back, look at his back, guys. He's just got that yellow hue to it. And tail is all webbed out. No bars or nothing like that. Just total male. Beautiful, beautiful bird. I always wanted to keep one of Popeye's uh, sons, and I'm finally doing it this year. You know? 
because I do want to go in his direction of breeding because Popeye is just magnificent. And like I said before, Mr. Electric was a nice bird too. Yeah, and uh, in his temperament, personality and all that, you know, he was superior to Popeye in that way. But as far as looks and overall, when you add the whole package together, Popeye's bloodline, they got it all. Yeah, and this is his son right here. And that female yellow I just showed you guys earlier in the video, that was uh, the same family that I got from the old buddy, same family as these, but years back, like distantly related, like I said. So um, we're gonna we're gonna keep this bloodline alive, guys, at all costs. All right, a little bit mellower than Lady Amherst, but still, I gotta put him down. All right, so here's the last of the goldens we're gonna move. This is the one that I got from the buddy of mine. It was the same family, but just distantly related. Um, I decided I wasn't gonna keep him. I got him just in case. I'm gonna keep his sister instead to breed with Popeye. But um, yeah, this young guy right here, he's gonna be housed with uh, Popeye's son until we sell him. But uh, we're gonna move on from him and find a nice home for him. He's talking to y'all. He's a beautiful bird though. Very nice. Well, there's the first part of our move-in experience for the day. As of now, we have no species mixed together, you know, because, you know, in the grow-outs, we uh, mix the species. I have some red goldens with some yellow goldens with some Lady Amherst, and they all house together. But as of now, they're all separated. We don't have any red goldens flirting with Lady Amherst, you know? I know that would happen right now. It's not breeding season, and they're still very young. But we don't need to see any of that anyway, right? So our next move for the day catching up those models and moving them to another pen okay now um i'm just gonna move them over maybe i'll give you a quick little view of them i don't know but um they're a little bit more uh high strung than the goldens or lady Amherst. so we don't want them to get hurt especially when you catch them you know they they like to jump up on that ceiling so if you guys can prevent that in any way please do because they're a big bodied bird right so um, when they fly straight up, that's a lot of weight they're pushing up against their ceiling there. They can break their necks, you know, and at the least, you know, tear up their crown, you know. You bend it all up, lose it or whatever, and then they don't have a crown for a year. That's what happened to that last one I had. So just got to be very careful. I might just move them over real fast and uh, yeah. Don't like catching up those guys. They really stress out pretty bad. So yes, I have decided to clean this out like i was saying earlier whenever i empty a pan i clean it all out so yeah i cleaned a little uh, bird bath area out put a log in here yeah i'm not going to put any greens in here those impians will tear it right up but this is going to be uh one of my impian pairs home their new home and i also have this pan next door here that's emptied out got to clean that one up but overall I think the impians are gonna like it here because there's a lot of shade in this particular pan so they won't get too hot. And I'll give you another side view of it. So it's very spacious. Now here's the hard part. Let's get those impians. All right, here's one of our impian males here. We're gonna make this quick. Now these guys are some strong ass birds, excuse my language, but they are strong. Anybody who raises impians knows what it's like catching them up. Here's one of our impian females. This is his mate right here. She is a beauty. Look at those patterns on her. You see that? Sorry folks, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> These things, they're monsters. We'll look her over too and just make sure she's okay. Look at the uh, places where there's bare skin. That's where you can see if there's any lice or anything. The vent area, under the wing, behind the neck. I mean, there's not, not so much skin exposed there, but still, it's one of the spots that they'll, you'll see them running around. But she looks good, yeah. All right, so everybody's in their new homes. Now let's go check them out. And then after that, I'll show you the disaster I have to deal with. Okay, so here's my uh, goldens right here yellow and regular golden here's the middle pin this was a uh, mr. electric's old pin right here but 
Yep, these are the new birds. Or I'm sorry, the future breeders of my yellows. All right, they're adjusting quite well. They're just hanging out. And then over here, of course, my Lady Amherst. Uh, this is my uh, old holding pen, if you will. You see that male in the middle there, that oldest male I showed you guys earlier? I'm keeping him, and then I am going to find new homes for the rest of them, the other four. Okay? So, uh, yeah, they're doing quite well. And this group right here came from three different pens. And see how I combined them into a new pen? And they're just checking everything out and relaxed. And even Penny and Amy over there are just chilling with them. Yep. Combining birds. Put them all in a new pen. Because I believe birds that stress together will bond quicker together. Can live happier together. And, of course, the impians that we just moved. They're in their new home. They're just kind of staying still, taking it all in. But, um, yeah, this is their new home right here. It's a female. Male, he's back there somewhere. Yep, there he is. You get a better view of him over here on the side. And I managed to catch him up peacefully without tearing up his crest. So, yeah, he's... I think he'll do just fine in here. Wants to get a little bit more settled. Good times, good times. Now right behind me is the disaster I was talking about. Okay, that's where the Impians just came out of. Check out this mess. Oh. So I did get in here and clean when they were in here. Every so often, but I'm gonna give it a really good cleaning this time. I mean, I cleaned it good before, but I just, there's so much stuff everywhere. I mean, on top of the pin here, there's like sticks from trees that fell. And look at all these white feathers because Delma and Louise just like to come or like to stand up on here and preen under that sun right there. You know, I don't blame them, but jeez, these white birds. You think I have like a turkey or a chicken farm with these white feathers? Anyhow, and look at the English ivy, it's just taken over. I'm not complaining about that, I like it. But I like it to be separate from the feathers and from the, you know, yard debris, whatever. Um, yeah, just gotta be cleaned up. And the cobwebs right here, okay. I'm sure Albert would appreciate that. Albert's pen is pretty freaking spotless. Yeah, he was in here as less as possible. Because those impians were very, very skittish. And I even got it. They don't even use this back area right here. They don't even come back here. But um, I am going to put more impians in here. Maybe they'll use it, but I doubt it. But yeah, just a whole lot of work. And uh, you guys don't want to see me do all that. So, guess I'll handle it by myself. Look at this ivy. The ivy looks nice, but once it's all cleaned up, it'll look even nicer. And I think I'm going to take out this bush right here. These leaves, they get so covered with bird poop and dust that they're not even getting any uh, sunlight anyways. Yeah, I better get at it. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get better hatching results next season with those impians, okay? By moving them all around, you know? The females did their part. We got plenty of eggs. But the males, they were slacking. So maybe by moving them around, they'll liven them up. Give them some new, uh, some new scenery or something. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I got a lot of work to do. I got to go tackle that pin, and uh, that's about it. I'm going to sign off, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now.